Hey guys, today I'm going to be discussing some of the differences, um, reasons for carrying modern folders versus a traditional. And here's what started the whole thing. I bought myself um, a mini Griptilian, which in my opinion is the perfect knife for EDC uh, in the category of modern folders. Now I'm a traditional guy. So what am I doing with this? Well, I have my my 15 GEC Huckleberry Boys Jack. It looked very similar to this, if you're not familiar with the pattern. It looked very much so like that, and I was carrying it everywhere, and I was using it for everything. I had it dropped out in my pocket. You know, one day I reach for my knife and it's not there. Been looking for it ever since. This was about two or three weeks ago. I lost it. I haven't been able to find it. So, found an online sale of mini griptilians for about seventy dollars, which you can't hardly find this knife new for under you know eighty or ninety. So, went ahead and picked it up so I could have a pocket clip, depending on what I was going to be doing for the day. I could stick on my jean pocket, or my shirt pocket, or whatever, know that it would still be there when I needed it, because I do not want to lose another knife. Here's my 53 Cuban, lost this knife in September. Lost it in September. That's six months ago. Found it last two weeks ago I found it. This knife was mixed, missing for six months and I found it. Can you believe how ridiculous that is? Unfortunately, I don't believe I'll be finding my 15 Huckleberry Boys knife. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be that lucky. What's ironic is I found this the same day that I lost my other knife. I actually found this knife looking for the other. A little funny story. So what are you going to get with a modern folder? You're going to get a, a better steel, comparatively. Now, there's nothing wrong with carbon steel. I actually prefer it. 154 cm is going to generally get sharper. However, the trade-off is I'm pretty sure I'm not a steel expert, but this should be harder to get that edge back than something like this. And you can get these super sharp, and they will hold their edge. Same thing with this. It's just going to take more effort on the modern folder. Now, more often than not, you're going to be getting a lock of some type with your modern. Now, you can buy knives that are traditional with locks on them, such as the 110 Folding Hunter. However, hold these knives by each other. I mean, this one is a behemoth to have in your pocket. I carried this for half of a year in my back pocket. And, you know, it, I finally just got sick of it because it's so dang heavy, you know? And it's not as convenient. Sure, I can open it one-handed without cutting myself. It takes a while. You know, just take this out of my pocket. Put my thumb underneath the stud and flip it out. Now, on the contrary, you can buy knives such as the Trapper Lock. You can buy them with pocket clips. Pull it out, put your thumb right underneath that stud. Flick it. However, this is stainless, the case is stainless, which I am not a fan of. Don't ask me why I'm owning one, but not a big fan. Versus 154CM, you know, going to take the higher end steel every time. So if you're not very uh, familiar with blade steels, they are very important. Um, I would recommend doing a little bit of research on them uh, as to what would fit your needs. I'm going to try to speed this up here. Slip joints are not as offensive as most modern folders are. Now, everybody's a little different, but as a knife enthusiast, you should not aim to be offensive with your uh, knife. I was at a church function doing a little volunteer work, and a lady came up to me and asked me if I could open a uh, cleaning product supply for so I popped this out you know I plunged the blade in and I you know opened it right up for her 
now had I had my mini Cryptilian, you know, flick it open, stick it in, you know, it's just, it's got this black handle, it looks a little intimidating to people that aren't familiar with knives. So, people see that, uh, first of all, I'm representing a church. You, you don't want to send a negative message with your knives, so keep that in mind. Um... Now, obviously, your 1095 is going to be a lot easier to resharpen than your other steels, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but it really comes down to what environment are you going to be working in, you know, where do you, where is your job at, and what kinds of things are you going to be using your knife for. Um, are you going to be in an environment with a lot of moisture in the air that's going to rust out your carbon steel blades? Would you be better suited for a stainless like 154 cm or something similar something that's not going to rust as easily now a knife like this the bad thing is that axis lock there um, could break uh, pretty easily it's got a lot of small parts uh, unless you abuse the crap out of this knife that spring there on the back is going to be the same as it is now in 40 years so typically a traditional slip joint is going to have more longevity with it uh, than the moderns. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope maybe this helps somebody out. See you.